I created a realistic Tokyo scene in Unreal Engine 5 with the latest animation technologies, latest volumetric methods and a lot more. There are a lot to cover so let's not waste any more time and get started. This is our environment with the default settings with nothing special. To be honest, it looks really bad. Our first step is to fix the lighting and we are going to start it with enabling mesh distance fields. Even though it looks really bad, we're still on the right path. This is Unreal Engine 5 after all and we won't do the justice without using Lumen Global Illumination. Lumen helps a lot but there is another important feature left. Lumen Reflections is what we need, it is combined with Screen Space Reflections which we will disable later on. We will then adjust the lighting and add a wet surface material we created for the asphalt. It's a cheap trick to make everything wet, to look realistic, but it always works. Creating an emissive material for the light bulbs was easy, but let's not overuse it since it will mess up our global illumination by a lot. So we need to place red lights with soft shadows to get a realistic look in our scene, just under every light bulb we have. It's a bit tedious, but the result is definitely worth it. We need a character to play and I remember, I had created a really good character for my last video. Let's use that. We had fixed all the problems it had and it is ready to use. We will improve it though. For instance, the rain is now different and is processed with GPU, which means it is completely optimized and can be used in games with ease. It consists of two particles, one is for raindrops and one is for splashes, which gets rid of computing collisions. We've come a long way, but there's still a lot left for this environment to be considered realistic. So let's move on to the next phase of this journey, which is adding volumetric fog. I've created an animated volumetric fog shader and we are going to use it in our scene. It's physically correct and where we have more light, we have more fog, which levels up the visuals a ton. We created the rain and splashes, now it's time to create the ripples on the streets. This is a shader based effect and is being rendered by GPU. It is not physically correct and happens randomly on the material surface, however, it is essential for this scene. We've had to recreate the wetness material just because it wasn't capturing reality too well. This new shader is much better and the wet surface can be darker based on the material. It doesn't make sense if the character is dry under the rain, so we use the same shader for wetness to simulate darkness and wetness for a character's clothes. This adds another layer of realism to our picture. Visual effects is one of the very serious aspects we need to pay attention when it comes to both art and realism. Let's kick it off with smoke coming out of vents. We will use baked flipbook animations to render our smoke easily. These are 2D sprites that always face the camera and give the impression that they are a part of this world. Then we will add this effect to random vents in the scene. There is one last touch for the character and that is fixing the animations. Not that the animations are bad but they can be better and that is what we are looking for. To do that, we will use motion matching technology for metahumans to create the best animations possible as fast as possible. And the results are astonishing, I could literally not have asked for more. 
Now let's create wetness masks for the floor material to make random water puddles instead of having every material completely wet. This will definitely make the scene more believable and adds another precious layer of realism. There are trees in this scene and there will be leaves falling off of trees. So let's make it happen. These are mesh particles that are being calculated by GPU and are using GPU distance fields to calculate collisions one of other advantages of using Lumen in this case. This was a pretty good journey for me and I hope I could recreate the same feeling for you too. This is our last step which is a physically correct volumetric smoke instead of some of our fake 2D smoke sprites. We create this using Niagara Fluids which is a real new thing that has happened to the industry and I hope we can see more of this in future games. The character can collide with it and it is always reacting to the environment in real time. Let's watch what we have created and thank you for watching.